Well, howdy friends. I want to take a few minutes to talk about the flies that we've used here out with Josh today. And really in my world, uh, my smallmouth flies really don't change much at all uh, throughout the season. Uh, they don't change much at all year to year. And it, they're also really no different than what I fish for largemouth bass, to be honest with you. And first and foremost, we were throwing a lot of poppers today. Of course, the double barrel poppers from Flyman Fly Fishing Company, they really are amazing, uh, a really great pop to them. But certainly honorable mention goes to the boogle bugs. Um, boogle bugs make some of the most durable bugs in the business. I've always often told people that the boogle bullet is probably one of the best bass flies ever made, but then there's the popper version. I would have chartreuse, and then the second color I'd get is chartreuse, and then I'd get yourself just to be safe some chartreuse to go along with those. Um, another couple of surface flies come at us from Dave Whitlock. Of course, Whitlock's hair bug. Um, this is in the frog pattern. This creates kind of a pop, and then kind of the slider version is the uh, swimming frog. Uh, which is also attributed to Dave Whitlock, but marketed by Umpqua these days. The Umpqua Swimming Frog, one of my favorite bass flies of all time. And that pretty much covers everything that I do on the surface. As far as subsurface goes, I fish a lot of bendbacks. Uh, this is a fly made popular by Flip Palette called the Prince of Tides. In fact, I'm going to show you how to tie this coming up. Uh, not only do I use this for smallmouth and largemouth, I use this down in New Orleans for redfish. It's just a great minnow pattern. Uh, of course, Josh and Pat and the guys use all these hollow flies, uh, which I'm not very good at tying, and uh, by the looks of things, neither is Josh. Uh, but this is, uh, this is a good fly. We caught some fish on that today, and then the chartreuse one. But check out the hollow flies that Josh and Pat tie there on our website. The Murnich minnow. The Murdich minnow and the big size, they also make it in a smaller size. Not only do we catch bass around here, smallmouth, but I'm taking this to Alaska. Does a great job of imitating the smolts up in Alaska. And of course, Kelly Gallup's bangtail. The bangtail is just an amazing articulated bait fish pattern. Uh, just catches damn near anything that swims and it is an amazing smallmouth fly. Um, of course, I saved the best for last, but uh, we also threw some crayfish patterns today uh, just on a floating line it's got weighted eyes and dave whitlock's near enough crawfish in the orange brown and olive uh, can't be beat i think we use the size four for smallmouth and then we also use these for carp uh, but as many of you know my favorite fly the swimmy jimmy one of the best fishing flies in my estimation ever created um, and in just a second, I'm going to show you how it swims in the water. But a lot of people, you know, we do a lot of these videos and people say, well, you don't talk about a clouser minnow. And the reason why I don't talk about a clouser minnow, uh, it's, it is a great fishing fly. Lefty Cray said it was one of the best underwater fishing flies of all time. I don't typically fish clousers because I almost always fish either sink tip fly lines or intermediate tip fly lines. If I'm fishing subsurface, it's an unweighted fly, almost always, and I'm fishing with a sink tip or an intermediate. And I'm using right now the Airflow Kelly Gallup's Airflow Streamer Short, and then the other one that I use is the Scientific Angler's Titan Clear Tip. Um, but let's grab my sinking tip line and let me show you what the Swimmy Jimmy looks like in the water real quick. Okay, the key to the Swimmy Jimmy fly is fishing it again on a sink tip or the tight and clear tip, for example. Um, and you want to go with a real short leader, as I always do with sinking lines of any sorts. Usually go, if I'm fishing a six or a seven weight, I usually just go like two foot of 20 pound, 17 thousandths maxima, a foot of 15 pound, and then like a tippet, a one foot tippet of 12 pound, 12 thousandths. Um, so real short leader and the swimmy jimmy, um, when you dive it, it will just wobbles and then it'll kind of float back up and the way it's tied sideways, it floats back up just in the profile of a dying or a wounded bait fish. The action on this fly is like no other. Um, this fly originally was shown to me by Kelly Gallup, although it's not one of his flies. It was tied by, uh, I think it's Andrew Sabota. I'll have to check for sure. 
uh, but it's called Sabota Swimmy Jimmy. It's one of the best fishing flies of all time. In fact, uh, not only did it do well for, for me here today, fishing smallmouth with Josh, but it's headed to Alaska next week with me. If I go on a trip, the Swimmy Jimmy goes with me. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too. Pretty face when you look on